What up, everybody? It's George Langevier with Silver Hammer Surveillance. Here on the channel, we talk tech, we talk security. Today, we're talking about something that's both. We're talking about smart lighting. Smart lighting can be fun, but smart lighting can also be used for home security, making people think you're home, and so on and so forth. But today, we're going on the fun side. Smart lighting can be bulbs. Smart lighting can be lamps. You can have light strips for your television. You can have light strips on all sorts of different things. You can have landscape lighting. You can have fun lighting like Nano Leaf. Go back and watch our videos on nano leaf and wall panels and such. But today we're talking about light strips. We're talking about television light strips, making cool accent lighting behind your television. And, you know, we like Philips Hue. I like Philips Hue in our apartment. Go back and watch our smart apartment tour. Every light bulb in our apartment is Philips Hue. Most of the light bulbs here are Philips Hue. We have light strips on every television, but we have these light strips. And I don't like these light strips, mostly because of the design. This is Philips Hue. And I do like that it changes colors and it looks cool on your television. But when you go to make corners on a, on a television, this just doesn't seem right. It bunches up and it just doesn't fit right. So this, this new gradient light strip, not only is it cool, what does gradient mean? It means that you can actually have this go to your television and it actually changes colors within the light strip. This old one just went one color. It kind of went to what was on the screen, but it stayed one color. This actually kind of is gradient. So screw this thing. We're going to move on to the new one and uh, see what it's all about. So we're going to unbox it. And how are we going to make this work? We're going to make it work with a cool device made by Philips Hue called the Sync Box, the Play Sync Box. And this box is necessary to make it go with your television. So you can do Philips Hue bulbs and light strips and everything else and just make them change color normally. But to get it to go with what's on your actual television, you need this box right here. So we're going to unbox this as well and install that first and then make this work and see how cool it is and see how, how that design works and see if it's any better than the one that I just tossed aside. So let's get started with the unboxing. All right, so let's unbox this first because this is the brains of the operation. Uh, again, this is the Play Sync Box and it's just a device that kind of goes behind your television or with your other components and it allows everything else to work as far as going with your television. So not only do you, can you do that with a light strip, but you can have several lights in an entertainment area and make them all kind of dance to what's on the screen. So when you open the box, you got the play box itself and a pretty substantial box, feels good. And uh, you've got four HDMI ports on the uh, for input and then you got one output to go to your television. So you can actually hook up four HDMI devices to this. And so if you're a gamer, you can have your game go to what's on a television, or you, know, you can have the lights go to your games and movies and whatever else, whatever devices you want to hook up to this. So you got the, the box itself, you got some documentation, comes with an HDMI cord for your output. So this is what's going to go from the output to your television. And then it does require power. So you've got your power brick here and your cord for the power. And then um, you got the conversion for US power here. So that's basically all that's in the box for the, the sink. So moving on to the light strip. So I really am hoping that uh, the design of this just make throwing that away worth a while. But I can already tell. Just the way it curves, these are just, you know, they're sleeker looking, they look more modern. Not that you're gonna see them behind your television, but I can just tell already that this design is gonna make me happier. Um, but anyway, you got the light strip itself. And it's just keeping it in shape. Some documentation. And what we got here. All right, so you got your power cord. And this is what the power cord connects into, so we're going to go ahead and use this double-sided tape to put it on the back of the television. You got your US power converter. And All right, so another thing about this light strip compared to the old one that I tossed aside is the way it's mounted. So that one, you just use double-sided tape, and that's where that 
problem happened on the corner. If you've ever uh, installed one of those, you know what, exactly what I'm talking about. Well, between the way this is designed and these brackets, which have double-sided tape, they go on the back of your television and it guides this in the direction you want it to go. So instead of trying to have to mess with that old thing, this is going to help out a lot. So we'll see how it works in the actual application of doing it. But um, I already have high hopes, and I can already see that this is a step in the right direction. All right, but that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and set them both up. Okay, so in my particular case, I'm going to put this on the wall because that's where I have everything plugged in behind my television here. So I went ahead and put in Gorilla Tape on the middle here, and so I'm going to mount it back there. But you can put this on your console, your component shelf, whatever you want to do. And again, you want it within range of your HDMI cables on your television. So I'm going to, um, like I said, just mount that back there. And I'm going to have it to where my HDMI cables are accessible. And I'm going to put it on there like that. And then you've got your uh, HDMI cable that came with it. And you've got your power cord. Power cord is pretty straightforward, obviously. That's just going to plug into power, which I have on the other side of the television, which we won't bore you with. But uh, you'll just plug that in. And then your HDMI cable, you're going to want... Um, so I've got HDMI coming in here from my Apple TV. I'm going to just take that to one of the inputs on this instead. And again, you've got four inputs. And I'm going to take my output cable that came with it. And I'm going to take that to the same input that my Apple TV was going to. And uh, just basically swap those out. Now, in my particular case, I have Sonos going to this. I'm going to leave my Sonos alone um, just to keep the sound going through my television. But any other components you have, like Xbox, PlayStation, whatever it may be, you could put them in one of those four ports on the sync box, and that way, when you're playing games and stuff, you're going to get that color effect. Whatever's playing on your game, you're going to, the light's going to change that color. So, again, you don't really need to mess with it if it's just sound, but uh, if it's a component that you want to use with the light strip, you want it in one of these ports. All right, so basically I'm just going to plug this in and then add it to the app. So after I plug it in, we'll be back in a second. Okay, so we got our power plugged in, we got our HDMI cords plugged in, and then uh, what you want to do is get the, the Philips Hue Sync app, which is separate from the Philips Hue app, which we already had because we got Philips Hue all over the place. So here we are. We're going to get that app, and then welcome to Hue Sync. We're going to get started. Is your Hue bridge set up? So basically, if you're new to Hue, you're going to set up a, what's called the Philips Hue bridge, which is what controls all your lights. We've already got our set up, so we're going to hit yes. Is your Hue Sync box hooked up? Yes, we already did that. We're going to say yes. And is it indicating you're flashing? Yes, it is. We're going to accept the terms and conditions, and then we're going to connect the Sync box. All right, so it's going to search for it. Hold it within one foot. So again, we got it right behind our TV here. Ask me if I want to pair with Bluetooth. I'm going to say yes. And it's going to ask me to set up my Wi-Fi. I'm going to select my Wi-Fi network. I'm going to put in my password. All right, so put in a Wi-Fi password connecting to our Wi-Fi. <clears throat> All right, so it's connected. We're going to hit next. And a warning from my Orbi that we got a new device. Press and hold the power button on the Hue-Sync box until the LED flashes green and then release. All right, we're successfully paired. It's checking for updates. Now, the updates are important because the original version of this did not support Dolby Atmos and Dolby Vision. So it was HDR plus or HDR 10 plus, but it didn't do um, Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos. So the update's very important because you want to enjoy your full blown content on this box. All right, so we're going to come back after the software installation. Okay, so update was successful. What do you think, Teresa? That took a, a minute or two? Yeah, a couple minutes. And I'm sure at first it's a pretty decent update, so, so you get the Dolby features. All right, so connect to the Hue Bridge. Our Hue Bridge is over here, so I'm going to go hit that button, and I'll be right back. Okay, so again, your Hue Bridge is a little white box that controls your Philips Hue lights. There's a button on the top of it. Mine's kind of hidden, or I'd show it to you, but you just hit a button, and it'll say it's connected. So that's what I did. 
All right, create an entertainment area. And it's asking us if we're watching TV or a movie we're gonna, or listening to music. We're going to watch a TV or a movie because this is our theater room, our Dolby room here at Silverhammer. I'm going to call it the media room. So go ahead and name it, hit done. And then you choose which lights. So our lights are in the media room. So we very our light, we do have a light strip behind this entertainment center. Um, so it flashed, telling us that that was part of it. Position your lights. All right, so we've got this one. And then so basically it asks you where that light is. So we're gonna move it over here to our where our TV is. And then it asks for what height. Um, so you got basically the ceiling mount, the TV level, or lower. And uh, we're going to go right behind our entertainment center. So we're going to move that down. All right. So I put our lights where they should be in the little map there. And then we've got our entertainment center created. Okay. So I selected where I want to use my sync box, which is here in the media room. Then you've got your labels here. I'm going to go ahead and change HDMI 1 to the Apple TV because that's actually all I have hooked up to this television. But if you had your other um, HDMI inputs hooked up, one of those four on the sync box, you could name each one. We're gonna hit next. You're all set, let's go. All right, so before we move on, we're gonna go ahead and put that gradient light strip in the mix. And uh, then we're gonna come back and kind of show you how it all works. But first we're gonna install that light strip and show you how to do it. All right, so we're moving on to our gradient light strips. We've got our little brackets, our little guides for the light strips set out here. We're going to start in the top middle. Basically, you're just going to take off the double-sided tape and put it in a good spot on your TV. You want it high enough on the television to where that light's going to bounce off properly. Um, now, we have an 86-inch TV, and the, the biggest version of these they have is for 75 inches. So we're going to put it in a position where these will fit. But uh, anyway, so you kind of want to look at the different levels of, of these gradient light strips. I think they're 55, 65, and 75 inches. Um, but anyway, so we're going to start with the, the top middle. We're going to take it off our double set of tape. All right. So you got arrows to guide you um, which side is up. You got also the Philips Hue logo. We go right in the middle of the television. And I'm going to put that on. And I want to hold it firmly. For a few seconds to make sure that double-sided tape adheres. All right. So then you've got the corners, and this is the key compared to that old light strip, which I tossed away. This bends to conform to your TV, and this is where that, that other light strip looked horrible. But the way this one's designed, it's going to go nice and flat, and it's not going to bunch up like that old one. So I'm going to go over here to the same level that I had that middle strip or that middle guide, take off my double-sided tape and put that on. And then you want to make sure that you've, again, you've got arrows here. And you're just going to want to make sure that you put that, um, first of all, the right direction, but also so it's kind of a right angle. So you're going to kind of line it up the same height as you did that other one. And then again, it's nice that this bends and adheres to your television. All right, so I got that corner on. And I'm going to take one of these side pieces, which goes down lower. So you've, you know, you've got a nice guide on the whole. Basically, you're going to make a, a not basically a U shape with right angles. There's got to be a more official geometrical term for that, Teresa, but <laughs> I, I don't know what it would be. So it's not coming to mind for me it's not either. Coming to mind. So I'm going to line that up with that guide I just put on the top corner. All right, so we got it on this side. We're going to move to the other side. And put that corner piece sunk in. Again, you just want to use your arrows and line that up to make sure that you've got the right right angle. And uh, so we're going to go as high as we did over there. All right. And then again, you got one more side to put down low on the other side. And you're going to want to line up those arrows to make sure it's the right way. And you've got two arrows on all of these. And you got the Phil Hue logo to also know that you're going the right way. All right, so those are on there. We're going to grab our 
power and our light strip and plug it in. All right, so we got our light strip. We got our power supply behind me. A couple things to note before you put this on. You got two ends here. You got an end with nothing. You got an end with the power cord. So just kind of map that out ahead of time. So you put this on the right side with your power outlet. And then if you look in the middle of the white light strip, there's an arrow and both of these are pointing up. So you just want to have those pointed up. So we're going to start in the middle. I'm going to lay it out. I'm going to have those arrows right in the middle. And it's kind of hard because it's an 86 inch. So, all right. And then once they're on there, kind of just resting. You're going to put them in their wire channel. And they kind of clip it. And then we'll get it clipped in. All right, so we got our power box. I've taken the double-sided tape off. We're going to plug it into that. Actually, I'm going to hold off for a second. I'm going to plug it into the light strip first. I'm going to plug it into that. Pick a good spot for it. Plug it in. We have light. And we have light. All right, so we're going to grab the Hue app and set it up. Okay, now that we got it plugged in, we're going to go back to the Hue app and we're going to add a light. So we're going to go to settings. We're going to go to lights. We're going to hit the plus button on the top right. We're going to hit search. Should find this light strip. Searching. All right, so hit start configuration. It found it. I'm going to call that the TV gradient light strip. All right, I'm going to hit save. And you can see I can control the colors already. It's going to take us to the installation process. So I could have plugged that in ahead of time is what it's saying, but we're, we've already done it. It even takes you through this installation process with the videos, telling us to make sure that the sync box is up to date, which we did when we installed it. And we're going to hit finish. And then we're going to drag it to the room, the room that it's in, which is the media room. I'm going to hit done. Add lights to the entertainment area. So this is where we set up the entertainment center or area, which is just that light strip below first. And, um, I'm going to add it to the entertainment room and add that gradient strip. All right, then it's going to ask me where that's at, which is on the television level. I'm going to hit that. Hit save. All right, so we have our media room set up. Let's try it out. Okay, real quick before we actually show what this is all about, you can uh, tweak some settings. And you can either do that in the Hue Sync Box app, which has got the most settings for this thing. You can do a few things from the Philips Hue app, but we're in the uh, Sync Box app. And uh, so you can kind of change the intensity, you know, moderate, subtle, or uh, high. I uh, hear most people say the sweet spot is usually moderate. Um, and you can kind of change the mode. You can do video, music, or game. But then if you go down here to the bottom right where it's settings, um, if you go to uh, Advanced Sync Settings, if you got an Apple TV like we do, uh, the Apple TV 4K, that's where you can turn on the Dolby Vision uh, compatibility, and you want to do that if you do have Dolby Vision to make sure that you're seeing it in its clearest uh, resolution. Um, and then, again, you can kind of change it between video and game. And then once you've changed all your settings, and you can kind of explore those. I'm not going to deep dive into all of them because there's a lot of them. But down in the bottom left, you just hit the sync, and that's when it'll start. So let's check that.
so it's pretty cool. Um, I can say that the design is much better than their old light strips. I love the gradient part of it. We couldn't play a TV show. I was worried about copyright, and so I didn't want to worry about that. But anyway, we tried the gradient part off air, and it, it looks really cool. Um, so yeah, overall, I definitely like the light strip more than the old ones. The Hue Play Sync Box, very cool. I love the fact that that you know the update was a while ago, but you know if it was still 1080p and didn't do Dolby Atmos and Dolby Vision, I, I don't think I'd want this. But since it does now, very cool. But yeah, so we'll be enjoying movies in here in our Dolby room and TV shows with our our sync going on. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. Smash the like button if you did. Subscribe to the channel. Come back for the next one. Hit that bell notification so you get notified of the next one. And uh, we'll see you then. Peace and love.